Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you happen to be located on this transcendent planet called Earth, I hope you are having a peaceful day, evening, or night, wherever you happen to be located. Welcome to my channel about all things Blender. But you can say all things 3D. But this, this application I'm using is the world renowned top 10 rated 3D software called Blender. I'm using version 2.82A. I know the current version of Blender that's out is 2.91, I guess, A, B, or C, whatever. I'm using this version that's native to my Ubuntu Studio computer. I have Blender 2.90. Hey, but you know, after a while, you keep you get you get tired of downloading Blender after Blender. So I think I'm gonna download with every even number. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm downloading every even number of Blender. All right. So welcome to the channel. Today, my topic is you kids is about rigging, and is the it's about a part that cor correlates to rigging. Let me go into it. Let me put it in optic mode. I'm gonna click on my mesh. I'm gonna click on my armature, and you probably guessed it. Our next thing, if you're a hot key user like I am, I'm gonna hit Control P. If you're a menu user, you will go to Object Parent, and with automatic weights. That's my topic on the day. With auto automatic weights I want to use with empty groups now I know why they use automatic weights that's why because when you start doing rig rigging for the first time and you connecting your mesh to your armature they trying to make it as easy as possible for you that's why it has automatic weights because I discovered if you don't use automatic weights, you have to deal with them vertex groups. You have to deal with it. And you have to deal with weight painting. So automatic weights, for the most part, when I was a beginner, I took care of all that. But then I discovered people. Automatic weights is not perfect. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let me go to my green hawk-like figure. I'm going to click on my armature. Let me go to pose mode. I'm going to click on this bone right here. Then I'm going to rotate it. Now look what's happening. <laughs> the other arm is automatically rotating with it. Now naturally, I said let me go to weight paint mode to see if I can correct it. So I clicked on my object. I went to weight paint mode. Now I discovered something stupid. I didn't name my bones. So I had to click through each of my bones to find that upper arm part. So let me keep clicking. And that's the part is up arm. So it seemed like it made it symmetrical by making both sides shaded. So let me go to tools. Let me click on a weight paint brush. I'm going to choose subtract. I'm going to subtract all of this weight paint right here. Now, when I did that, when I subtracted all of the colored parts, blue mean it should not move, right? Isn't that what blue mean? Blue mean it should not move. Okay, let me go back to object. Oh, I'm at, go back to object. Let me click back on my armature. Let's go back to pose mode. Oh, I clicked on that arm. I'm going to rotate it. And look at that. It's still moving. That would cause me great anguish and perplexity. I made it look uh, 
I made the, um, the white paint dark blue so it shouldn't be moving. So, it threw me off for a loop. Alright, so, I want to go back to edit mode now to edit my bones. I got, yeah, I have my bones clicked on. I'm going to edit. Okay, good. I'm going to name this part upper arm. Left. I'm going to do this. I'm going to call this lower arm. Because for this demonstration, I don't need to work on a whole body. I said, I want to show you all how to use empty groups. If I just show you how to use empty groups on two bones, you can take it from there. And you will see how it's maybe a little bit more superior than automatic weights. But it's more work. Remember, there's more work. Now, I want to get rid of my... Uh, I have to click on my mesh. I want to get rid of my bones so I have to click down here on the object data the object data is that green triangle with the little circular dots on the vertices so let me click on it now I have my upper arm but I have to delete all of them to use vertex groups I gotta delete everything so I'm gonna delete everything they all gone let me go back to my, uh, it's on object. Let me click back on my mesh. I'm sorry, not my mesh, but my armature. So I said it's a lot of stuff to be doing. So I, I apologize if I make a mistake with my grammar. I click on my mesh, rotate. Okay, so that means it's not grouped. I cleared all the vertices. Let's go back to object mode. Now, I'm going to do the standard joining. I clicked on my mesh. I click on my armature, I hit control P. But unlike in the past, when you kept choosing automatic weights, I'm gonna choose with empty groups. Click on empty groups. Let's go back. Let me click on my, my armature. Let me go to pose mode. Let me let me let me see see nothing happened. Because it's doing that because the groups are not connected to any vertices and the vertices have not been weight painted so that's what we have to do good people so i click on my mesh i said it's a little bit long the process but it gives you more flexibility and controlling your uh your mesh i click back on that all right now i want to go to uh edit mode edit mode I want to put in an x-ray room so I can control the front and back. I want to hit my tilde key, hit right so I can see it directly in front of me, and I'm going to zoom in some. Now I'm going to hit the C key. But I want to choose my bone too. Let me choose my bone. Oh, see, since it got regrouped, since it made that vertex group, it brought back all my other bones. So I want to delete. The bones I don't need anymore. I only need two. Upper arm, lower arm. So I'm just going to delete the stuff I don't need. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, 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 delete. All right, I have up. Go to bone nine. Delete that. Delete. 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 So the two bones that I want. So now I have it on upper arm. Now I'm going to hit the C, the C key. So I can do a selection. Now, for me, you can leave it on edge mode, vertex mode. But I just like to have it on um, solid, solid select mode. That's my pet peeve. So I select all of these as much as I can. I just like to rotate, I believe, but I just like to see. There's all holly. So now I choose a sign. All right, it's a sign. I click somewhere else. Click somewhere else. I click on lower arm now. I hit the C key to do a. Oh, I could have just did box select. Let me see the box select. See, that works just as easy. Box select. Then I hit lower arm. 
assign zap now let me go back to object mode let me put it back in solid view let me click on my armature let's go back to at pose mode and now let me rotate and see what happened see it's connected but we still got some work to do still got work to do because I don't know why that hand acting up but I can fix that easy all right so let me go to uh pose object view again click on my mesh now I want to go to uh weight paint and see I want to choose upper upper arm now I discover something that's even more powerful let me see if I can let me see items I want to see if I can bring out my uh, my tools oh cuz I'm in weight paint mode so I don't think it's gonna let me uh, it's not gonna get me it's not gonna let me use my little my them, them layer things well, I'm, I want to use some layers so I can write on here I don't have to write but there's no big deal this one did with the brushes so I'll leave it here it's no big deal but this one I'm gonna get the rid of I, this one I want to explain see I can't write on the screen sorry about that it seemed like um them layers not showing up I wanted to use the layers I can't use my layers anyway forget it but this is this is a slight flaw because this is forward kinematics forward kinematics it controls from my upper arm all the way down to my hand see it, it didn't say that so what you should do good people what you should do I'm gonna go back to this tool I don't like to have my strengths so strong and what I like to do my good people I wanna put it in draw what I like to do since it's forward kinematics it's controlling to the, the form arm look at my look at my little mouse it's controlling to the form all the way down to my hand so the best thing I discovered to do is put it in x-ray mode oh, oh the best thing to do is to color the whole thing I'm gonna color from my forearm all the way down to my hand then I know all of that will move in my forward kinematic setup with no distortions in my hand if I color it in right that is so this is forward kinematics it should go all the way down that arm nice and pretty just gotta make sure you color everything in okay see that done not colored in all right so like it's colored in now let me go back to object mode click on my armature choose pose mode and let's see what happened now when I rotate it see it's rotating so that's it when you get when you get more knowledge about blender when you got a C level knowledge and above if you're doing forward kinematics, you should color everything on, everything from that point on downwards. So it will be no mistakes. None. Now, let me go back to object mode. I'm going to click back on my mesh. Let me go back to weight paint. I want to choose my uh, lower arm. See, that on my lower arm. I don't like to have it red. I want to control everything from my lower arm on down. Because it's forward kinematic. So you might as well color everything from the point, the point from that bone to the last bone. Color everything in. Let me go under the hands. 
then you know it won't be no mistakes, no hiccups, no nothing. You won't be having to scratch your head. Now let me go back to object mode. Click on my mesh. Go to pose mode. Click on my bone and rotate. And see, okay, there's a slight error in there. Let me go back to object mode. Click on my mesh. Choose weight paint. It look like it. Oh, not, so see, see inside the fingers, they're not colored in. Inside some of them fingers, they were not colored in. Oops, I made a mistake and did that side right there. All right, let me get this back up. Subtract. So, I hope this do it. Object. Click on the mesh. And rotate. Okay, see, I get a, I got a little bit more better. See, it's not perfect. See, dealing with this um weight painting stuff, it takes some energy and some time. Object, weight paint. Let me go to weight paint. Let me see where I made my little mistake at, if I can find it. See, it's never, I'm going to choose add, because that's even stronger. Oops. Okay, if we're going to be red, I'll let it be red. If that makes it better, I'll make it red. I hope nothing goes wrong with this stuff. Click on my bone, or the pose mode. Okay, it's a lot better. See, it's a lot better. a lot better and that's it my good people that's it using with uh I wonder what a bone doing that but that's something for but the main thing if I made the bone invisible everything we working nice and neat so the hand is working it's working the other side, the main thing I was talking about, the other side is not going crazy like it was earlier. It's not going berserk. So it's pretty stable for the most part. If you enjoyed the video, learning, like I'm still learning. I don't use Blender every day, so I'm not a full-fledged reality. I just use it whenever I get in the mood to use it. If you like the video on how to use... Uh, uh, parenting with groups with vertex groups let me go back to make sure I was saying it right object click on the mesh control P yeah if you'd like the video on dealing with uh, parenting your mesh and your rig with groups give me a thumbs up if you got any comments to add to make me better at this give it to me I, I just discovered a couple days ago so I'm not perfect, perfect. I ain't like it. I wasn't doing it for no three years. I just now discover with no groups a couple days ago. If you've got any comment, give a comment. If you would like to subscribe to hear me talk about future content in Blender that I find interesting, please subscribe. Until the next time, Blender family, peace.